Hey guys, so my name is Amir. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm so glad that you all joined me today. Uh, it's currently 5.45 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday morning. I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about myself in a while. But let me go get ready for training. Then I'll bring you all along on my training day today. So like I said earlier, I'm Amir. I'm a 21-year-old from Singapore. I'm currently on a gap year post-national service awaiting entry to University of Western Australia in Perth in February 2024. At the moment, I'm working and I'm training. A short preview into my running background. I ran track and field while I was in secondary school and in junior college. And at the moment, I train with juniors from my alma mater under the same coach that I've been with since 2016. I am a multiple time national school games medalist at cross country and track and field. And I've also represented Singapore schools at the 2017 Asian Schools Cross Country Championships in Hong Kong. Okay, so now some of you might be asking, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Well, for starters, it was based on a suggestion by my friend because I had told him that um, I wanted to document what was going on in my career in track at the moment, at this juncture of my life. And I also wanted to share my journey with a larger audience, hence the YouTube and the social media outreach. Yeah, so I should probably go and rush off because my coach will kill me if I'm late. So, yeah, see you in a bit. We hit the highway down the T block and I know that I'm lost. My glasses thin when I pull a rod in front of a dog. She so Pharrell, how was today's training? Really, really good. See? DNF again. Oof! Ah. Wait, yes, stuff! I didn't DNF. <laughs> okay, so I'm back home. Um, some of y'all might be wondering what trainings I do on the weekends. So on Saturday mornings, I would normally hit a tempo run or a marathon paced run um, at Mekuchi or sometimes at Bulut Reservoir depending on where my juniors are training and um, what part of their season they're in then on Saturday evenings I'll normally hit speed work or flexibility either one of these two depending on how I'm feeling that week um, because my Saturday evening trainings are a bit flexible that way um, Sunday morning I'll hit the gym and then in the evening I'll go for a nice and easy long run yeah so right now I gotta go get ready for my second training of the day and I'll see you on a bit. Alright, so back to the title of the video. This will be the first of five videos where I'll share a little bit about myself and take you through my final few track workouts before my attempt to PB at the 5k. Hence the title, Road to 5k PB. I'm primarily an 800 and 1500 meter runner and I've never been good at the distance events even with the many national schools medals that I've gotten. But as you can see from the title, I'm running a 5k. Why? Back when I was in school, I used to have pretty low mileage and I actually wasn't the most disciplined with my training. In recent years however, I have become more serious about my training and I gotta say, being in NS also helped me a lot because it gave me time to reflect on what I wanted out of track and also to read up on certain aspects of training that I had neglected. It was through reflecting that I realised that I could not do distance events only because I had convinced myself that I could not do them. That lack of belief probably stemmed from my lack of conviction in training at the time. And so, in the past two years, I have altered my approach to training and life in general, and I have a better understanding of what works for me and what doesn't. I began to increase my mileage, worked on more run-specific strength and conditioning while incorporating more activation drills before training. At the moment, my electronic personal best for the 5k is 1835.76 from October of 2022. It was also my first ever 5k race on the track and with any luck, I'm looking to run an official 1640 in my upcoming race. In short, I'm running the 5k because it is a good gauge of my fitness in this current phase of my training. So you're probably wondering why my 5k personal best is so slow. For starters, like I said previously, I was always just focusing on the 800 and 1500 meters, despite the fact that I was originally a cross country runner. Secondly, the 1835 effort was my first and only ever official 5k effort on the track, so I had no idea how to race the distance and ended up running the race at my tempo pace instead. Okay, so I'm finally home from training. It's been a long day at training. Um, in the morning, I did some aerobic work did a 10 minute warm up and then I did a 60 minute trail run. Uh, nothing fast, just an easy pace. Then in the evening, I did my plyometrics and accelerations. In the last week, I've done a 5k tempo run 
uh, clocking 17.39 last Saturday. On Tuesday, I did a 5k at marathon pace, uh, followed by 8 times 300 meters of hill repeats. And then on Thursday, I did a 3k pace run that was at 5k race pace, clock 9.54. And I followed that up with a 5 times 400 ran at slightly faster than race pace, averaging about 160. Yeah, so it has been a decent week of training um, for the most part. Yeah. It's been a year since my first 5k race. A year of mistakes made, lessons learned, a year of training and strength work. Hopefully I'm wiser, but maybe I'm not. But that's exactly what I'm hoping to um, learn and find out through this journey. And I hope all of you will take this journey with me. I also hope that all of you have enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. In the next episode, I'll share more on my journey in track and field, lessons learned since my first 5k last year, um, training week in review, and some bonus advice on how to structure your training year-round. Here's my Strava, TikTok, and Instagram for y'all to drop a follow if y'all haven't already done it. See you on the next episode. Peace.